All right. Hey, it's me again. Okay. So uh, today we are talking about just something real quick um, about this lifetime license. So everyone's probably asking, you know, uh, what's it about? But uh, honestly, again, it's something that has come up time and time again for someone that is, you know, really, really interested in system sculpting and what I'm doing here. And so I'm always being asked, like, how do I just kind of pay one time and just have always access to like the latest system sculpt release and whatnot, and how I can support you, right? Um, and I've been, you know, playing around with uh, how to really get this all set up in a way that, you know, makes sense in the long run, right? And, you know, System Sculpt for me is going to be not only a year project or two years, but five, ten years. I mean, this is going to be <laughs> as uh, silly it may sound to some of you, but I do really think of it as my life's legacy. And right now, all we are is just some little, you know, uh, plug-in, right? But in the long run, I really want to expand to all different types of uh, mediums in terms of computer in interaction, right, between the user and the computer. Right now, we're doing it in Obsidian because we're kind of setting things up. This is how I have it in my head. You tell me what your opinion is. But in my head, I have it uh, set up in a way where right now we're just kind of gathering data, right? Everything from articles to, you know, your journal entries to everything that you read online, tweets. We're just kind of you know, gathering things up like a squirrel storing nuts for winter, right? And then winter is going to come, right? When you have these AI models, they're not here yet, but the, you can see little sneak peeks of them, right? ChatGPT just today released, or yesterday, just released like this new, um, what's called upgraded memory. And so it kind of almost remembers absolutely everything you've ever talked to. If you haven't tried it out, go to ChatGPT.com and ask it, uh, hey, what do you know about me? And it will, it will surprise you. So, and, and you know, that's another video. I, I tend to get off topic, but um, what I'm trying to show you here is, you know, if you are not a Patreon member, okay, uh, or a lifetime uh, license holder, then you do still have obviously access to the free version of things, right? So you still are able to set directories and, and, you know, use the chat and, set up tasks and templates and everything, absolutely everything. Title generation is now totally disconnected from the System Sculpt API. You can just hook up your own uh, provider and, you know, whether it's Open Router or OpenAI or Anthropic or whatever, and just use it, right? So that's really nice. Um, when it comes to a new chat, for example, um, there are a few limitations that, uh, you know, having this kind of System Sculpt license really helps you out with. So one of them is that obviously you can... Just drag in documents, but of course it's a pro feature. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> so if you have it enabled, of course, um, and you know you should definitely reload and, and uh, upgrade whenever that pops up. If you drag it in and you drop it in, now it uploads. This is a PDF document, mind you, right? And it's extracted everything automatically for you. So you have the full. Let's let's hop into this document. You have the full extracted version of this PDF. Let's take a look at the PDF. Uh oh white screen as always right uh one of my pet peeves i really hope that there if you know about a plugin that allows me to change the mode of a pdf i don't know if that's hard coded in or not um uh, surely there has to be some sort of like pdf skin uh plugin or, or whatever that makes it like dark mode friendly but anyway let's let's get out of this brightness and yeah let's take a look at this much nicer and actually promptable uh, text version of everything. And you have the images in here too, in their correct order. It's not like you have the text first and then the images all at the end. Um, it actually does interweave, uh, pun there, uh, skillfully, right? Um, the images as they appear in the PDF here within the Markdown document. And you have all of these beautiful tables. So that's another thing to really keep in mind here. Um, the charts and everything, man, links, everything works beautifully. But anyway, let's go back in here because, you know, it's nice to extract things. Uh, PDF extraction is not a new thing. It's been around for uh, many, many years. It's being perfected, I'll tell you that much. But um, now we can actually chat with the PDF. And that also is not so much of a new thing. But what is new is that now you have these million um, context window models okay uh, so you can change into them one of them is called optimus alpha and it's a free model right now 
And everyone's kind of rumoring that it's the new OpenAI model that's going to be uh, like open source, right? So they had, I don't know how, how much you're keeping up with all of this, but uh, they had, I believe it was called, geez, what was it called? Quasar, Quasar, Quasant, uh, Alpha. So they, they, they always name them Alpha. And then uh, now this one is called Optimus Alpha. So it's a little bit worse than Quasar Alpha from what I've tested, but it is completely free right now if you're using it through Open Router, uh, and it's like the real good free. And by the way, if you really want me to make a video on like Open Router setting it up, getting it all working, how to use it to your you know true maximum benefit, um, what you can do is you can actually add Open Router or other provider, third-party provider keys into Open Router. And that way you, you're able to like use their credits as well. It's, it's this really cool thing. Anyway, uh, that again, that's a whole different video. But for now, let's pick Optimus Alpha. And uh, yeah, so right now we have our glitch prompt, which I made a video on yesterday. And let's just prompt it. So, hey, give me the rundown and let's see what it comes up with. So again, it's prompting not only this entire document, but also all of these images, every single image you see here, it's prompting against it, right? So I can say here, for example, you have this uh, chocolate chip nuts recipe, right? Um, for some reason, I think it's because it's showing that it's able to like look up a recipe uh, regarding like the agents that can self-improve and learn skills. So that's why it has this picture. Um, so let's let's talk about that. So right now we just asked it, hey, give me the rundown, which is nice. Gives me some screenshots. Um, it talks about the recipe, right? Um, it talks about what happened. Uh, regarding the big picture, it tells me, you know, the main idea of everything. And tell me the recipe. And again, this is this is just silly, silly examples that really just show you what it's capable of. Um, obviously, if you're a researcher, if you have uh, client work. If you have, you know, full directories, like I have my entire system sculpt brand here that I just drag into a chat and I'm able to chat with that context right off the bat, right? With all the images and all the, you know, documents and everything in there. And it's so flawless. It's so easy. And, th and that's my favorite part. And my other favorite part is actually just instead of typing away things, right? So, that, okay, so here's the response. It tells me, bruh, the agent was supposed to find a gluten-free chocolate chip. Uh, but what you got in the screenshot is, well, not that. Uh, the top hits are, boom, boom, they both have nuts. This is the opposite of what you want. And basically, it's this agent or this LLM is critiquing the LLM in the uh, paper, in, in this uh, PDF paper. Funny. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, let's ask it more. So what's so revolutionary about this uh, paper? And what I just did there, uh, whoops. What is so revolutionary about this paper? I started talking before my microphone uh, activated there. But yeah, you can just quickly, uh, I have it hotkey to command R for record. So I can just hotkey and instead of typing, I can just talk to uh, my chat. And, that, and that's my favorite part about it. So again, you can see a lot of use cases here for something like this. Um, and obviously this also works inside of a note. Let's say I'm, uh, you know, let's talk about, um, you know, I have L-theanine here, right? So I can, you know, say, hey, I actually really want to learn more about L-theanine and what's the proper dosage? What is it good for? What does it help? Um, I'm really interested in its uh, calming benefits, but also if it's worth taking maybe before bed. I've heard, you know, some people take it before bed too. So, you know, what are the pros and cons on all of that? Are there any downsides to it? And I can stop recording and... Here it comes. There it is. And you have it right there. Uh, you know, copied. I have it uh, set where it doesn't paste it right away. Uh, it copies to my clipboard first. And I can just paste it so that when I'm traversing a very large document, it doesn't just kind of paste randomly. I'm able to like select where I want it to paste. And uh, yeah, so I'm really, really excited with everyone that's kind of, you know, interested in this and, and signing up for it. It is $249 right now uh, for the lifetime license. And again, this is something that's going to be very much in the long term, not just like a, not even looking at uh, this in terms of a year or two. The way that the world is going and where we're headed, I mean, this is something that 
if if I do it right as a by the way as a one guy team, right? Um, we're we're gonna do some great things. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope you have a blessed day and enjoy the weekend. And I will see you tomorrow.